Harvey, reckon? Wow, mate, there's a lot of heat in these gardens. Yeah, well, you know what? This is kind of one of those things. I, I grow chilli for two purposes. One, to control pests, and two, to use in the kitchen. But I've got so many different varieties. I've got a super hot little Thai bird's eye chilli over there, habaneros, and then some of these varieties here that really are quite sort of good table varieties, I think. But What's the best for using in the kitchen? Look, I love chilli as well, but I'm not a fan of the super hot chilies. Uh -huh. But if it's too hot, it just takes away all the flavour of the actual fruit. Something like these little Tabasco ones would be fantastic. They're probably a little bit too small. Um, these cayennes are delicious. There's a lot of fruit on there and a lot of meat and a lot of flavour. They're perfect for cooking. Well, shall we um, get into it and harvest some of them? Because there's nice a heap here, mate. Well, I think we've got enough chilies here for the recipe I've got in mind. OK, all right. One little thing with picking chilies is that you always end up scratching your eyes and your mouth and suddenly you're burning. What's your tip for getting rid of that burn from chilli after you've been handling it? So it's the oil in the chilli that gets on your hands and causes the burn. So for me, dishwashing liquid, it cuts through that grease and oil and gets your hands squeaky clean. Well, let's kind of do that right now because I don't want to touch anything that could get burned. 